Hey everyone, AppChasers.com here. Today we're taking a look again at the app called Workflow. Now Workflow is an awesome app that allows you to automate things on the iPhone or the iPad. Now we're recording this video on the iPad, but that's just to give you a better uh, view of the Workflow app. But you can also do all these things on your iPhone as well. Now we've recorded a full review of the Workflow app that you may have seen, but you might want to take a look at that here on YouTube or on AppChasers.com that shows you an entire overview of all the cool things that you can do with the Workflow app. But since we've made that video, we started to think about the fact that it would be cool to use Workflow to get better organized and efficient when it comes to our theocratic schedule. So we wanted to build some workflows focused on optimizing theocratic activities. For example, getting better organized and prepared for the field ministry or congregation meetings. So that's what this video is going to show you. Some of the workflows that you can download straight into the Workflows app to get you better organized. Now you can see I've got Workflow open here in the iTunes App Store, but let's get right into the app and I'll show you some of these. Here we are now in the Workflow app, and to explain a little bit uh, on why we built these different workflows, it might help to consider some scenarios. For example, say you're getting prepared for the field ministry, and you'd like to look over the presentations for this month's magazines. Well, you could pull out your Kingdom Ministry and find the presentations, or you could go to jw.org and search for the current month's Kingdom Ministry, and then uh, go to the back page and find the presentations. But wouldn't it be nice if the iPhone and iPad did all that work for you and brought the presentations straight to you? Well, that's what this particular workflow will do for you. It'll go out to jw.org, find this month's presentations, and then display them automatically on your iPad. We'll show you how it does this here. In the lower left-hand corner of my iPad screen, you'll see I've got a workflow that I've already built called Magazine Presentations. So let's double tap that. It'll start the workflow, and it brings up this alert that says, we found this month's presentations. Now you'll be taken to the Safari app. Once there, choose Sample Presentations. Okay, so it went out to jw.org, it found our current month's Kingdom Ministry, and is now going to display the presentations right from there. So we'll hit OK, and as it said, it's going to open Safari to jw.org, and this is the February, our Kingdom Ministry, which displays the March presentations. So it knows that we're in March, and we would like to see the presentations for March, which are in the February issue. Now here's the link that says Sample Presentation, so we'll tap on that, and we've got our presentations ready to review. So that's one way that you can use Workflow to automate your theocratic organization to bring those presentations right to you. All right, let's look at another one. Now let's say you're in the field ministry and uh, you need to take a quick break before you uh, continue in the ministry and you'd like to know what places there are around your general location that you might be able to take a break at. Well, we've got a workflow here that's called Quick Break. And uh, what that's going to do, let's open it up here just by tapping once. It's going to give us a list of different categories that we can select from of different places that we might want to choose. It's then going to allow us to select that place or that category of places to search for. And uh, then it's going to switch over to Apple Maps and show us all of these places uh, surrounding our current location. So let's play this uh, workflow and we'll show you what we mean. All right, it brings up our categories here, fast food, coffee, grocery, or gas station. Let's choose fast food. So that's going to open the Apple Maps app, find our current location, and then show us the fast food uh, areas that are available. So we've got a Taco Bell that's uh, three minutes away. We can tap on the little car icon there and it'll give us driving directions. Okay, so another cool way to use workflow to be a little more efficient while in the field ministry. Instead of searching for a place, driving around, we can uh, find one right away. Now the next workflow that we've built here is a neat one that 
Well, actually, go out to JW.org and download the latest issues of the Watchtower and Awake magazine for you automatically. So if you'd like to read or save the current magazines to your iPad or iPhone, uh, but you want to save the time that it takes to go to JW.org and uh, find the current issue, uh, download each different magazine individually to your device, this workflow will do it all for you. It'll go to JW.org, find the current month's magazines, and download them right to your device so you can view them when you're offline or you can read them whenever you want. So this is the one that's called Current Mags at the bottom of our screen. We'll double tap on that and we'll show you how it works. All right, so it's running the uh, workflow now. And this alert comes up that says, uh, this next screen will ask you which magazines you'd like to download. Okay, so we can choose one or as many uh, magazines as we'd like here. So it's going to prevent it, present us with the uh, Wat Watchtower Public here for March, the Awake, the Watchtower Study, and the Simplified Study version too. So let's just uh, select uh, maybe three of these. You could select all of them or just one. And we'll do the Watchtower Awake and the Simplified. We'll hit Done here. It's going to download the magazines, give us another alert telling us that it's now going to show us which magazines it's downloaded. So we'll hit OK. All right, so there's our magazines that it's downloaded. And you can scroll these uh, through the pages vertically or horizontally. You can go left and right between the different magazines to see which ones it downloaded. All right, so th these are the ones we want. So let's go to done here. And now it's going to say, all right, we're almost done. Um, and then it wants to know where you want to save these magazines. So it's going to prompt us to choose an app to save the magazines into. So we'll hit OK. And it'll bring up that familiar app picker. And you can choose whatever app that you have installed on your device uh, to save these PDFs. So we like the uh, Documents app here by Riedel. We also like PDF Expert. You can see I've got them both here um, on the screen. But let's choose Documents and it'll automatically open up the Documents app and tell us that it's saved a zip file called the current year and month magazines.zip. So we'll hit OK. You can see we've got our zip file right here. But let's double tap on that and it's going to bring up the unzipped folder here where we've got our magazines right in documents. So it'll save them there. We can view them at any time. Now there's a number of workflows besides these that we've got on appchasers.com uh, that you can download straight into the workflows app. So let's show you some of these. Here we are on appchasers.com and we've got our workflows here that we can tap on to um, download them into the workflows app. We'll show you how to do this with one of them here, and that's called the Kingdom Hall Estimated Time of Arrival, or K-H-E-T-A is what we've shortened the name to. But if we tap on this icon, it's going to download the workflow straight into the Workflows app. Now you'll need to have Workflows uh, already installed on your iPhone or iPad for this to work. But uh, once you do, you can just tap on this icon and uh, it'll download that straight into the app. So we'll show you how it does that here. All right, so it's got our workflow here. It's going to ask us get workflow. So we'll tap on that. And it opens the workflow app and we've got our workflow ready to go. Now this workflow is another cool one that is actually going to allow you to let the friends know that you're going to be late to the Kingdom Hall or the field service meeting. Now of course we never plan on being late but sometimes there's an accident or some other traffic problem, maybe the weather too, that causes us to be behind schedule when trying to get to the field service arrangements, let's say. So what this uh, workflow is going to do is it's going to find the location of your Kingdom Hall. It's going to find your current location where you are it's going to determine how long it will take you to drive to the Kingdom Hall from where you currently are. And then it's going to compose a message, a text message to anyone that you'd like, telling them how long it's going to take you to get to the Kingdom Hall. In order to do that, 
first you need to enter the address of your Kingdom Hall in the workflow here. So right now I've got uh, enter your Kingdom Hall address right here in the street address, but you'll want to enter yours right now. So we'll enter ours. Okay, so we've got our street address here, and uh, I'll scroll to the bottom too, because this is the other thing that you're going to need to input. Um, you can add your contacts here as to who to uh, send the message to. Now you can leave it blank. I'm going to uh, back out of the enter contacts here that we've put in there, but uh, you can leave it blank and then when the workflow runs, you can choose people to send the message to, or you can pre-populate this by tapping on the plus icon over to the right. This is going to bring up our uh, contacts in our address book and we can choose the contacts that we'd like to pre-populate in this workflow. But we'll leave it blank for now just so we can uh, show you how this workflow runs. So we've got this all uh, populated. Let's press the play button here and we'll show you how it works. It's going to ask us if we want to run this workflow because we just downloaded it from the internet. It'll only ask us that once. So now it's uh, getting our current location, getting the travel time, how long it's going to take us. Now it's going to compose this message. And you'll notice that it's waiting for us to enter in a person to send this to. Or it would have those pre-populated people that we chose before. But since we left it blank, it wants to know who to send it to. But you'll also notice that down here it's already typed out this message. Hi guys, sorry I'm running late. I will be at the Kingdom Hall in 26 minutes. So that's determined by the uh, current driving conditions that uh, workflow has gone out and gotten from the internet, actually from the Apple Maps app, and then uh, figured out how long it's going to take us. So we can just hit send once we're ready. So that's another example of uh, cool things that you can do with the workflow app. Now anytime you want to run these workflows, there's a few different ways you can do that. You can go straight into the app like we have displayed here and uh, double tap on one of these. All right, so there we go. The other way you can do this is by tapping once on a workflow and then hitting the play button here at the top. But perhaps the coolest way to run any of these workflows is that you can install any of them to your iPhone or iPad home screen. So you can just tap on an icon on your home screen and it automatically runs that specific workflow. Let's show you how to do that with the Kingdom Hall estimated time of arrival workflow. Now we've opened it up here. Now in the upper right hand corner there's this gear or cog icon. Tap on that and you'll notice right here it's got add to home screen. So let's uh, tap on add to home screen. It's going to go over into Safari for the next step and it's going to give us some instructions on how to add this to our home screen. But simply put you just tap on the share button which is in the upper portion of Safari on the iPad and it's at the bottom on the iPhone. So we've tapped the share button and then we'll tap the add to home screen button here. It's going to ask us what we'd like to name it, but that's fine. We'll hit add. And now we've got this workflow right here on our iPad home screen. So anytime we want, we can just tap that. And it's going to automatically run the workflow telling us how long it's going to take to get to the Kingdom Hall. All right, there it is. So those are just some of the theocratic oriented workflows that we've built here. And there's more that are available on AppChasers.com. You can also build your own workflows using the workflow app. So if you've built some of your own workflows, make sure to share them in the comments section here. This has been AppChasers.com.